Hello and welcome to another quick video uh, walking through some of the features and capabilities of the Anomaly Stack solution. In this example, I'm actually going to look at adding your own intelligence. Uh, that's an often overlooked capability here. It, the Stacks is great. We can plug it into a, a taxi service. We can pull down data from, say, for example, uh, the limo service from Anomaly. We can look at, we can look at the charts, we can look at the dashboards, we can look at the intelligence, we can search up things, we can click through to get further relevance. That's all great. What we can also do is we can add intelligence to the platform of things that we've identified and seen within our environment. The whole point here is it allows us to have a, a collection of data that allows us to be able to search, look for, attach, uh, and, and use as intelligence uh, over an extended period of time. So how do we use it? It's actually very simple. We can use imports there, or you lose a little tab. Uh, we can just pull that out. Uh, so I just click that, and we can we can use the intelligence import capability here. So what do we want to do? Well, let's talk. Let's look at two scenarios: one where I add a file or a specific bit of intelligence, or one where I just paste the intelligence. Now I'm going to do the paste one first. What I have done is I've I've seen some unusual activity to an IP address within my infrastructure. Um, I've seen it. It's been going on for some time. I had a conversation with my SOC team. They've also indicated that it's also suspicious. So you know what? Let's add it to the platform. So let's let's understand what's going on. So it is actually a very simple IP address. Uh, this is actually a malicious IP address for reference. Um, it seems a little bit unusual, but this is actually true. So I've seen that. I've got my IP address. I just put the IP address in there. I could just paste it accordingly. What I do want to do is add some additional context around this. So in this example, I know it's a command and control server. I'm seeing some unusual traffic through my firewall. My SOC team has told me accordingly. Um, severity, this is really bad. We didn't spot this before. Uh, we're now seeing this communications, so we're going to mark that as very high. Uh, additionally, we probably want to understand around the TLP. So if we want to do sharing around this, if we want to push this out to something else, uh, how much uh, do we want to push that out? So in this example, I'm going to say this is uh, green. I don't mind sharing it because it's, ver it's valid, it's real, uh, but it's a, a very specific indicator. Uh, I also want to understand the confidence around this. So again, this is not about the severity, which is the security aspect. This is around the confidence in the quality of the data. We've seen this. It's in our infrastructure. Uh, we've seen the unusual activity going backwards and forwards. That's why we have, we've determined it to be command and control. So in this case, we're 100% or 100 confident around this. We probably want to add some additional tagging to this as well. So I'm going to put some additional tag in there. So again, malware C2. Uh, we could also put some more tagging in there and going uh, vi virus variant. For example, we just put some generic information in there, uh, exploit, etc., etc. We can put multiple tags, no issue as, as part of that. We can hit the import tab. Uh, it's then going to ask me if I want to approve this. So in this particular case, we can see the tags. Uh, I can see how we did this. I can see the ob observable command and control IP, 100 confidence, very high, etc., etc. If I if I am happy with that, I can just hit approve and it's added to the, to the data as a whole. So every time I now do a search for, a, say, for example, uh, high severity, 100 confidence, command and control IP uh, addresses, that's going to come up as an ob observable in there as well. Uh, and of course, what I can do is I can click on that and get some further detail in the anomaly stacks view. So in this example, I can see that this does actually appear to see to have some additional data in it. So we can see that this is actually scored within the anomaly platform as a whole within the cloud. We can see this is scored as high. We can see that the confidence isn't great though. Uh, and when you actually scroll down a bit further, we can see some additional information here. It does seem to be linked to a command and control. But this is linked to a false positive. Now, that's interesting. We probably want to be spending a bit more time to, dis, uh, to discern what's going on here. But you can kind of see the ability to be able to pull the data, stick it in there, score it. We've now got a record of that. Uh, we can also see some further details of that and understand what's going on as well. So that's one way of adding the intelligence. So let me jump back to uh, the view here. I can just go back to the dashboard. Uh, of course, what I could do is I can just add the data from a file. So what I can do, for example, I can just actually select a file. So in this example, I actually have an email that was sent uh, as part of, uh, in this example, it's a DHS uh, email with some information around some very suspicious activity uh, within the energy sector targeting a phishing attempt. So I just saved the email. I just put it into a text file. I can open that. 
gets inserted into there. In this example, uh, we know that it's a phishing attempt. So let me find fish. Uh, we're actually very confident this is very targeted. Again, it's been sent to us as part of that. Uh, and as part of that, I'm going to score it uh, high. Uh, this was shared with me. So I should be very conscious around how I share this out. Uh, so I probably want to mark this as TLP red, traffic light protocol red. So I want to control where this goes to. So I'm marking this data saying it was shared with me, which is great, but I shouldn't be sharing this out to anybody else as well. I could add tags as well and go energy target. Uh, I could also do phishing and so on. You know, I, I would define my tags according to my process and, and profiles of how I want to do things. Uh, and then ultimately I hit the import. Again, takes me through to this. Ah, now this is different because I just threw a file at it. Now what it will do is it'll it'll do some uh, relatively clever things around the processing. So it's extracting some of the data from that email. But you know what? Some of the data in there I can probably not import to the platform. So we can see that here. So in this example, ah, uh, mail relay. Yeah, no, let's not have that. Uh, let's not have that. Uh, yes, it's come from US certs. So let's not have that or that. That's one of the IP addresses. I recognise that. Don't know why it's pulled out that word. But anyway, let's not worry about that. We can see a couple of other URLs there. Oh, you know what? US cert, no, let's not get that. And the uh, and the SOC uh, email address, let's not get that. So we've just limited down. There's a, ultimately, there's only three bits of intelligence here, but I just threw an email at it. I can just quickly do that. I don't have to copy and paste. I don't have to cut through anything. And then ultimately, I can just prove that. Um, oh. And ultimately, I just I just <laughs> make sure I tick the particular box boxes there if I wanted to push things as well. But I've approved that intelligence, and it's in there. In fact, now I also have a record too of what was imported uh, and what they actually pulled in as part of that. So it's very simple. It's very easy. I've imported that. It's now available to me. And of course, again, if I wanted to see further details around some of these uh, particular observables, I, I can see that data as well. Uh, and I. You know, the information's there and it's usable for me. It's just downloading, but you get the idea as part of that. What have I been able to do? Well, I've been able to uh, add data, just copy or paste it into the intelligence that I think is suspicious, then look at further details around things. I can actually import uh, documents, files. In this case, it was just an exported email with a few observables in it that I particularly wanted to see in the platform too. I can also tag that data. I can add further contextual information around things like the severity and the TLP, so the sharing aspects. And then ultimately, if I wanted to further dig down in these particular ones too. What we're trying to do is maintain a package of intelligence or, or, or a, a, a thread of intelligence that we're building up over time that we can add to the platform. We can dig in to further details around that, but we can search it. We can understand it. We can share it if we want to. More importantly, we're maintaining it over time to get a profile. So that helps us understand what's happening, how much are we getting, how this is targeting our, our organization, and having an understanding around the context around that too. So that's just a very quick walk through some of the import facilities that are available as part of the Anomaly Stack solution. Thank you very much for your time.